good day friends it is me hl mod tech and i am back with another awesome video so let's get cracking friends today instead of printing on my printers we are printing with the company jlc pcb this is my second time working with them they are absolutely awesome do make sure you sign in so you can get coupons once you sign in one of my favorite things is that they keep your files so you can see right here i have got a project called 239 stairs i had a couple versions because they always double check your work and if they find something that's not gonna work well they give you a chance to fix it now the company has options for 3d printing cd machining or mechatronic parts and they can also make your PCBs and stencils. I'm interested in 3D printing and we are going to use some extra cool resin. Let me show you how easy it is to set one of these up. So I'm going to start with order now. I want to swap over to the 3D or CNC tab. I am going to grab my project from before. This way I can go to my upload history. I'm going to take the one on 1011. I want to use SLA resin. I'm going to switch to this wicked cool 8001 resin. Check it out. We can pick transparent. We can do surface furnish. And it's going to have oil spraying. Takes 120 hours to make it. And you do need to say what it is. I'm going to choose DIY entertainment. And I'm going to call it others. Over here I am going to put keychain of course pick your quantity and then just like that you can submit it to get your cost estimate and friends here are the resulting resin keychains there for my mount pisca climbs there are 239 stairs i hide these little trinkets and call them pisca prints i absolutely love how this clear resin turned out i think it's going to be super fun for the scavenger hunt on the stairs Really quickly, really friends, this is how it was built in Tinkercad. That was the original design before I put this in. Here you can see I added a tiny support so that, that nugget doesn't fall away. Fall away, and then finally, I took this part to Fusion 360 to get those wicked cool rounded corners. If you're interested in those techniques, of course, I'll have a tutorial up here that shows you how to take your Tinkercad projects and move them to Fusion 360 for adding finishing touches. Friends, as I wrap up, I just want to say once again how supportive JLC Labs was while getting this project completed. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.